have never been in a simulation center before. Okay, they they know how to take tests. They know how to probably do skills. A lot of them maybe have worked as CNAs. They've they've worked at a bedside, but they've never had an opportunity to be in a simulation center or working with a patient that is uh, not completely 100% real, even though we try. So we have to really engage their ability to sort of suspend that belief and just sort of say, this is real. This is, I want you to talk, I want you to act, I want you to do everything you would want to do. And we're gonna assist you to be able to do that. Practically, it's very good. They tend to uh, take very real life situations and apply it to simulation. We'll come in similar to like we would in a clinical setting, get report from a nurse, have a kind of a small background on the patient, be able to look in the charts, and then come in and be able to talk to the patient and get responses from them that you don't get if it were just practicing on a non-computerized system. Hello Mr. Crockett, my name is Lisa and I'm going to be your nurse today. Hello Hi. Lisa. How are you feeling? Oh, not that good. Oh, can you verify your name and date of birth for me, please? Here you get the feedback from that patient that's being portrayed by trained staff. If you do something right, you can watch as the vital signs and stuff improve and the patient's overall demeanor improves. Or if you're kind of going the wrong way, you can watch it kind of go down and know that something else needs to be done. The experience really is about not so much the doing, but it's the thinking. It's about processing. It's about trying to sort of uncover what is the most important issue for them to address first and allowing them to then take that, that lead and figuring out where they need to go next with it. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of oxygen on you. Let's your oxygen, your lungs are feeling not very good. So we're gonna put a little mask on you and it will help with your lungs, okay? Make make breathing a little bit easier. Is that okay, sweetie? I'm gonna put a cool mask on. Okay, yep, just like that. And what simulation has really done for me personally is that it gives me that confidence level. I can go into simulation and take care of a patient and then go back and say, okay, this is what I did great and this is what needs to be different and better. But it's in a safe environment so that I don't have to be worried about really hurting someone. The teachers are excellent, they are very knowledgeable and they really care that you do your best and they're willing to bend over backwards to help you do that. In a simulated environment, it really allows for me just to watch and to listen and to really help guide them in a very indirect way. I really want them to take away the opportunity to be the nurse, to be in the role of the professional. It's been really good practical experience. I've learned things in simulation that a week later I went into clinical and I saw the exact same scenario and I knew what to do and I learned from my mistakes in simulation so that I could better take care of that patient. Both clinically and in the classroom, it's definitely helped. It kind of concretes what you learn in the classroom, and then you take that into the clinical setting. Without it, I think there would be a lot more of a struggle. The most beneficial thing I've taken out of it is being able to work alongside fellow students in the room in a nursing capacity, as well as um, we'd have to call the physician to get different orders or call radiology or call the lab. And when we pick up the phone in simulation, we ask for a specific doctor or for the lab and we get another person that we have to talk to and describe what we want. And it's kind of relating back to what you are going to have to do once you graduate. You're going to have to be able to call a physician and know what information they're going to need to make the decisions that's best for the patient. It's been a wonderful program and I've learned a lot from it and I feel much better prepared to go into the hospital now and take care of my patients.